It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today, it's Thursday, January 18th, 2024. Number one, a new Arctic blast is building across the country, along with yet another winter storm on the horizon. The record low temperatures will be slow to improve as another cold blast is expected Thursday into Friday. 95 million Americans remain under wind chill alerts that have spread across the U.S. Over 80% of the country has experienced days of sub-zero temperatures with little relief in sight. Number two. In continuing with our series of bringing Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s views to a contemporary context, we examine Dr. King's relationship with guns. As arguably the most revered victim of gun violence, Dr. King was a stalwart pacifist whose stance on gun ownership evolved with time despite initially being a gun owner himself. In a time of unprecedented global death at the barrel of a gun, mass shootings, and black households torn apart daily by gun violence, Dr. King's journey toward releasing the ownership of his gun reveals much about how fear plays a role in keeping the peace with a peace. Number three, when was the last time you cleaned out your makeup bag or drawer for expired makeup? Ladies, maybe gentlemen? Whether you're a minimalist or like to put on the glam, your makeup does not last forever. Every category of product has an expiration date, also known as a shelf life. And the What You Need to Know newsletter, along with our partners at Black Health Matters, let us know when the time has come to discard that mascara. Number four, among his many fights for equality, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. sought to address inequities in healthcare and raise awareness of the power of prioritizing love, especially self-care and self-love. The civil rights leader spoke on depression without having to blatantly say the word. He stressed his message of love by noting even mental health professionals recommend love as opposed to hate as a means of survival. Number five, It's Aquarius season, and in today's newsletter, Ms. Astrology discusses Aquarius season as a season of change. This is great energy for learning a new subject, volunteering your time, or just collaborating with like-minded people. As a collective, we want to position ourselves to take advantage of this time when the ego is not so strong and we can genuinely connect with a group that will support our progress while strengthening our social conscience. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. The best relationships are built on mutual service to one another. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Ms. Astrology as we discuss, well, Aquarius season and today's top headlines and more. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.